Today on Toy Habits Reviews, we are taking a detailed look at Gung Ho and Destro from the G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Cardback line on the examination table. And before we get into the review, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you can be alerted to the latest reviews, news, and episodes when they drop. Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Habits Reviews and we are coming at you from our examination room. I'm Michael and with me is my collector in crime Larry and today we're taking a detailed look at one half of Wave 1 from the G.I. Joe Classified series retro card back line and comparing them to their standard releases. So let's start off by looking at the figures on cards and the first thing that jumps out is that these things are huge and just to give you a sense of the scale this light box is about 15 inches tall and these card backs are 12 inches tall and seven and a half inches wide man that is massive i guess even even seeing the pictures i didn't get a good uh grasp of how big that the card must be that's crazy i didn't either and i have a three and three quarter inch snake eyes figure just to compare them because that's pretty much what we're used to right is seeing these cards and these things look massive compared to the three and three quarter inch figures <laughs> yeah i guess so that's uh man I, ca I can't imagine the shipping you know like trying to trying to find a box to keep these protected so the cards don't get damaged you know yeah, and that's actually the thing uh, that I was surprised in. Walmart actually shipped them in a box, uh, but they still ended up damaging the Gung Ho card. But, you yeah. know, I, I plan to open it anyway. I was actually planning to put these on my wall, but just seeing how big they are in person, I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, you have to devote a whole section of wall to them, and it's just too much space. Yeah, and then just turning the cards around, uh, you can get a look at the back of the cards and, you know, they kind of mirror that Walmart exclusive retro collection, three and three quarter inch line with that file card that has the languages five times, you know, in translated five times. And yep. it's it, actually, it's just, it's just huge. <laughs> yeah. 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 You don't need uh if you, you know, if you have poor eyesight, you don't need uh, glasses or anything to read it. So that's good. Yeah, and just to, just one note on the illustrations for these card backs. They actually don't mirror the exact replica of the vintage figures. They actually made them to match the figures that they're producing. So they made some little variations here and there. So for example, like Destro's missing his grenades that he used to have on his left hand. So they omitted that from this figure too. It's such a, it's, it's such a confusing line on what the, you know, like why they're kind of going to these lengths for uh for just maybe like a short run of figures right like i don't i guess i don't understand like having this be an exclusive thing and then and then like doing the whole art and all the stuff like it's it seems kind of odd to uh to put that much effort into it you know yeah it really does and let's take a closer look at the figures in more detail and let's start off with destro so we're doing these reviews a little differently and we're sure that everyone out there is watching wants to see how the standard releases compare to the retro card back releases. So we'll have Destro's doppelganger here for the remainder of the review. And as you can see, they are using the same figure buck with subtle differences in the paint app and sculpted on parts. So let's start top down. And as you can see, if we can zoom in here, Destro has, it looks like he has a different head sculpt and a different expression. And I'm not sure if it's just the defining lines that are making me think that, but it looks a little different to me. It does. It almost looks like, um, like expression, expression doesn't seem, uh, as crisp somehow, almost like, like it doesn't seem quite as defined. So you, so it looks like his expression is slightly different somehow. Yeah. Yeah, and the head sculpt is is funny because now that they've they have actually painted on eyebrows on him and if you look closely, he has irises now which kind of match the card art. I think that part's cool. I, I like that they've that they've done something different with the eyes and the eyebrows. Yeah. Um, as long as he doesn't end up cross-eyed. No. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, I think that's always something to look out for. Yeah, it, it yeah. looks like he d he just has a little bit more stern expression on him. And I think it's just all those, maybe those harsh lines that they're sculpting in his head sculpt now. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think, like, as far as the, the kind of the, the chrome, the, like the chrome effect, uh, does it look 
does it look the same? Is it the same color, same shininess of chrome? It's it, the chrome on the new figure is a little bit more shinier than the one uh, that the the first release on the left. So I think from that standpoint, it does pop a little bit and it makes his eyebrows and his eyes stand out a little more. Yeah, I, it seemed that way, but it, you know, with with lighting and stuff, sometimes it's hard to tell. So I just wanted to kind of get a good feel for that. Yeah, definitely. And also you'll notice the chain is a different color and you'll also notice that his either his skin or his shirt that's underneath here is a different color as well. It's just a, like a slightly shade darker of peach. Yeah, and I think I think it actually looks more natural. Somehow the other one looks more like a shirt. This one looks like it could be skin. Yeah. Yeah. And one little small difference they made too is his collar is now all red versus all black like the first release. Yeah, I, I think I like that part. Um, it kind of stands out a little more. Oh, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Also, what you can see is too that's that they've kind of done away with the um, gray that they have on the shoulders and also on the chest here too. Yeah, I definitely like that part. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. funny because it's actually less detailed, but I think... I think it looks more, somehow I, I like it better. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then moving down to the arms, you can see that the rocket launcher and his hands and his bracers are essentially the same. They're just different paint apps applied to them. Yeah. And I like that part as well. Um, I think, I think kind of the, uh, the kind of shinier silver um, looks better this way. It kind of helps those rockets stand out a little more. Oh, it does. Yeah. And you also notice like also the belt, has a, just a different paint app. It's colored in a darker gray on the new figure with that Mars logo right in the middle of it. Yeah. You know, I don't know what I think of that. I kind of, I like that they put the Mars logo on there, but I kind of think that uh, maybe those, those kind of side pieces should be red as well, like the original release. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. And yeah, I guess looking at the, the holster and kind of more down to the leg sculpts, these are essentially the same pieces, just recolored in just different paint app. Yeah, and I, I like the I like what they've done with this. I think that it's uh it's a cool change. I mean, I think, I, you know, they had to make some changes, or it's just the same figure. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I like that part. Yeah, and it looks like also too the paint app on these on this holster is a lot shinier, and I I wonder if um. It actually makes me think that this is cast in just a red plastic versus just having it painted on here. Yeah, yeah, I would guess so. Yeah. And, you know, looking at the hands again, I actually like um, kind of the, the more silver color of the of the new one um, kind of almost looks like it, you get more definition out of his hand. Like you get to you kind of see the, the metal plating more. Uh, it stands out more than on the original. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That, that looks great. And then moving down to the legs, you can kind of see what they've done with the knee pads here. And um, you can see that they've pretty much, I mean, I guess it's hard to tell in the camera. Maybe I'll back it away a little bit. In the first release, these knee pads are gray and then they just added black pads to the knees in the, in the new figure. Yeah. I think this is another good change. I, I think that um, having those gray pads, I mean, it's, it's, I, I think it looks better just black because I, I think it's uh, it's a paint detail that wasn't needed before. Yeah, definitely. And moving down to the boots, you, you kind of have just a kind of a stark gray boot and they kind of took that silver off of it. But they did manage to add a little silver touch to the buckle here, so it's which, which is not present on the original release. So you can kind of see the differences here, too. Yeah, these new new boots are fancy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, and now that we're finished looking at the figure, let's move on to the weapons and accessories. All right, and as far as the weapons and accessories are concerned, they're pretty much the same that came with the first release of Destro, but was with some paint app differences. So both of these little small guns are the same, but they basically decided to just cast this one in black. And yeah, I don't know what I think there. I mean, I think um, I kind of like the gold one, but maybe maybe having just a black a uh, black pistol come with them is is maybe a better choice for this one. Just just because uh, it does give you another option. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, his gun again is the new one is cast in black. You know, versus the original release has some red accents to it too. 
Yeah, and I think maybe maybe also on these, um, they're trying to go with kind of the more more vintage feel, um, and we didn't have those kind of those extra paint apps, you yeah. know, on on the weapons and stuff before. So yeah, so in that way, it makes sense. Yeah, and then the biggest changes I think come with his briefcase design, and so what they've done here is they've uh, remove the red lo Cobra logo on here. So you just have just a kind of a black briefcase with a black on black logo. I think this is a change for the worse. So I think, I think actually if they had painted the Cobra logo black, then I think it would be, it would be kind of cool. But I think this is like less detailed and the original, I like the, the red on the original better, you know? Yeah. No, I, I like that too, because you know, this, the Cobra symbol is meant to be red, right? Yeah, and, I would say so. It helps it stand out more, too. Oh, yeah. And they did the same thing inside the briefcase. And I actually didn't really notice that there was a Cobra logo in here to begin with. But, yeah, it's, again, it's a black-on-black -black logo. They've put a silver keyboard in here. And they also have a different computer screens. I like the different screen. But, once again, I, I'm missing the Cobra logo. The silver keyboard's kind of cool. Yeah. I think money actually looks better on the new one. Oh, it does. Yeah, it looks less, like, fake. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then just subtle differences on the outsides of the briefcases. They've removed the silver accents on the new one, but they added the silver accent down here on the bottom of the briefcase, which you're never going to see. Yeah. So he didn't he didn't necessarily upgrade briefcases. He just got a different one. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. It's like, you know, getting a new purse, right? Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Go with the boots. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's take one more look at Destro and just give you our final thoughts and ratings. All right. So just taking a final look at the retro card back series, Destro by himself. Um, I would rate this a five out of seven. I think they actually did a great job of capturing the vintage look of the fi figure with just some minor sculpting and paint app changes. And I actually wish that they had sculpted this gun kind of similarly to the vintage style gun. You remember that like long thin gun that he came with with that long, like, like kind of that thin barrel. This is kind of just taking this updated classified series gun and just repacking it and repainting it. So kind of dinged him on that. And I also think that they left out the grenades too, which I'm going to bring in the vintage figure too. Like they, they could have easily just sculpted on some of the, some of the grenades that you can see on the side of his bracer here. I think that would have just added that little extra touch to him that I think is missing. So what would you say about this figure? Um, you know, I'm, I'm tempted to go four and a half. Uh, I, I, I would say, I'm like a I'm like a 4.75. Um, That's fine. Because I think that um, you know I, I think that there are there are things that are still amiss. And to me, if you if you're trying to go with kind of a, a more vintage look, um, like you say, you could have they could have done something with the grenades. I like that they that they did something with the holster as far as the black, but I almost think that the strap should still be red just to look more more close to the to the vintage figure. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I think that there's little stuff like that, that, you know, you're still, it's just still not quite there. If you're going to go like sell us another figure, that's the same thing with just different paint apps. You got to get it all right. It yeah. has to, if you have to nail it, you know? Yeah, I, I agree. And I, yeah, I think they, they definitely could have done a little bit more and all right, that pretty much covers Destro and let's move on to Gung Ho. All right, so like Destro, Gung Ho uses the same figure buck with differences in the paint app and some of the sculpted on parts. So again, let's start top down and you can see that there are differences in the head sculpt here. For example, the new one has that vintage style mustache. Yeah, yeah, they've, uh, I, think, I think that's an improvement there. And I think actually his his facial expression just in general looks looks better. Yeah. I think his eyes look more natural. Just everything about this head sculpt seems to be better to me. Yeah, definitely. And they gave him a brand new hat and it's you know it's kind of as is a nod to that vintage style hat and it's actually more kind of angular and it's definitely uh you know it kind of blends in with the with the grenades on his vest there. Yeah, I, I actually think that the hat looks more natural on his on his head too. Like, you know, kind of looking at the old one, it's it looks too small for his head a little bit. Yeah. Um, somehow the scale just doesn't look quite right. It looks like it's sitting correctly, but it just doesn't. It looks a little bit too small. This one looks a little oversized, and I think that's what the hat's supposed to look like. You know. 
Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I think we've talked about this before with accessories that just are either sculpted on or just sit on top of your head. And I think you can see the differences there pretty clearly, right? Yeah. All right. And then I'm just going to take off uh, both of the hats here. And as you can see, uh, Gung Ho, the new one has a clean shaven, Mr. Clean look, you know, whereas the older one has that mohawk stripe running down the middle of his head. Yeah, I just, I really like the new head sculpt a lot. I think it looks great. You know, they can nail like facial expressions like this. Like it looks like a real face just shrunk down, but then you get some that they like, I don't know, some that they just can't get right. Uh, you know, like Luke Skywalker figures, there's different, you know, different <laughs> figures that just, they just can't get them right no matter what they do. He-Man is, is, you know, half the time it's awful. Yeah. <laughs> That's so. funny. Uh, but yeah, no, totally agree. Yeah, I, I think his head sculpt looks great. And brand new vest. And, you know, it's kind of a nod to that vintage figure with the grenades sitting on the lapels. And man, how did they sit in there without letting go? <laughs> I don't know. He's, he's, he's just being careful, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool. And you also notice that uh, the, the tattoo is a lot bigger and a lot grander on the new figure than on the original release. And so it's kind of like they just kind of made it stand out a lot more. Yeah, yeah, they did. And I think it's a, I think it's a change for the better. I, I like it. I think it looks cool. Um, I, I actually like the coloring of it, too. It looks looks better. Yeah. And then we'll just move around to the back and really nothing, nothing special here. I mean, they, they did it since it's a new vest is pretty plain in the back here, you know, without a lot of the armor plating that they have on the first release. It's a lot less detailed, but man, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, I like what they've yeah. done with it a lot. Um, I think so, you know, some things you see like this and you're just like, this is what the original release should have been the whole time, you know? Right. Right. And his, his skin tone, it looks slightly different slightly different like a little bit lighter a little paler maybe is that the right word yep yeah you're right they they did use a little lighter skin tone for the retro card back one so yeah definitely see it on that one which is kind of funny right because he's isn't he supposed to be out in like the swamps and stuff and he's so pale i don't know like what's he what's he doing does he have like uh you know some way putting on like way too much sunscreen so he never <laughs> ends at all I know, right? Yeah, he's very careful that way because, you know, yeah. in the 80s, you know, he taught you to wear your sunscreen. Oh, no, that was the baby oil time. So, no. Yeah. <laughs> it should have been red. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And for the arm sculpts, you know, it's pretty much the same arm with pretty much everything taken off of it. So, no forearm guards, no elbow pad, and also no gloves. I mean, I think I think taking all that stuff off and was was kind of a, a necessity. I mean, I, th I think, you know, I think when they release some of these original figures, they're just trying to kind of do a different take on the character, and we don't want that. No, you know, they just because I think it's it's you know something like this. It's a whole different. It's a different scale for GI Joe, and and so we're wanting kind of those those characters we're familiar with, and this gets back to what what Gung Ho should look like, you know. Oh, definitely, and. Moving down to the waist and the legs, it looks like the belt's the same. It's just a reed color, and the whole camo pattern is different, so it's just kind of recolored. They did give him some new weapons pack out on his left leg and also a holster on his right leg, too. Yeah, I think it's cool. I mean, you know, if, if you don't like the, the holster, you could take it off. Um, you know, he's still got the same kind of detailing underneath with some of those pockets and things. So I think... Uh, I think, yeah, once again, the changes are for the better. Yep. And then just moving down to the knees and the boots, the they kind of colored the knee in camo, so it just looks all uniform. And they actually did give him a knife sheath on his left leg. The boots are the same sculpt, but, you know, they've kind of painted the upper part of the boot here a dark green, and they left his shoe black. So it kind of just on the surface looks like it's one color. Yeah, it does. I mean, it doesn't uh, it doesn't stand out as far as they're kind of a, you know different colors, um, and you kind of lose that kind of metal look to the to the front uh, upper boot. So, yeah, yeah, definitely a lot of changes, but I think it's definitely a change for the better. And I think you know I know that the classified series was not supposed to look like the vintage line, and so I think you know they're they're doing a little course correction, you know, kind of midway through the line here. And, you know, I think in my opinion, like this is the gung ho that should have been released. 
Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree. I think, um, and, and I know that there are fans that, that wanted classified to be something different. You, you almost have to look at it from um, kind of just, just what the, the majority of the fan base would want. And I, I think that, that they kind of, uh, you know, realized that after, after this, you know, after some of these figures were put out, you know, that we didn't want um, a new version of Firefly and we didn't want, uh, you know, gung ho to be different. We wanted kind of that standard look and, and, you know, maybe, maybe down the road, if they had done kind of this original release first and down the road, maybe you come out with a, a version two, just like what they did in the eighties, you know, you can, you can do a version two later, but give us those original versions first. Right. Yeah, exactly. Now, totally agree on all fronts. And let's look at Gung Ho's Weapons Packout. All right, and looking at the Retro Cardback series Gung Ho Packout, he comes with a totally different weapons and accessory uh, pack. So let's first take a look at the backpack. And again, this is a nod to the vintage style backpack. It looks awesome. It looks like real fabric, uh, just you know, sculpted back, you know, down into the, into the scale. It's, it's cool. Yeah, definitely is. And he also comes with a little knife that's supposed to go on the sheath in his left leg too. Yeah. Good detailing there. Um, it's a, a cool extra. Yeah, it is a cool extra. And I actually like that they painted the blade silver. So, so it's not just a straight black <laughs> blade. Yep. Uh, and then I think he comes with the same gun or a similar gun that, that Destro comes with. Um, actually, no, it'll, it is a little bit different, just a similar size. Um, but yeah, it's something that can go in the holster that he has on his right leg. Yeah. I don't feel like he's going to use that much. I think it's, it's either the, uh, you know, the, the rifle or, or the knife. I, to me, you know, he doesn't feel like a pistol kind of guy. To no, me. no. <laughs> and man, his, his other larger gun is awesome, and I forget it's, if this is a grenade launcher. Or... Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't remember what that is either, but yeah, it looks awesome, and it's 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 cool. It looks like like something from the '80s, you know. It yeah. looks like uh, just an upscale version of what he what he would have come with. So yeah, and yeah. some attention to detail here. They put some green paint app on the strap here, which kind of gives it a, a more cooler look. So they're they're adding little paint details here and there. Yeah, yeah. This one feels like they've they've really paid a lot more attention this to me is what a um if you're going to do a re-release this is how it should be done yeah. you know they've they've kind of nailed uh pretty much everything about the figure they've they've kind of updated everything they've done some extra paint apps um it's great yes and let's take a, another look at gung ho and give you our final thoughts and ratings all right, so I would rate Gung Ho a six out of seven, and I think this is the I, I said this before. This is the Gung Ho that they should have led off with, but I get it. They're do they were doing much more updated designs, which I don't personally like, but I know that there are some out there who do. But I also wish that they would have made his chest tattoo just a little bit brighter, like the vintage figure. So I'm just gonna bring. Um, him in a little bit just so you can see the color differences uh, here and so yeah I, I think it would have gone a little bit better with the figure uh, what do you think about this one Larry man I, I think there's there's very little co to complain about at all I'll, I'm gonna give it a six and a half um, I think that um, if you're gonna if you're gonna do these this is what you should do you know it's it's got to pretty much um, nail all the all the vintage check boxes right I mean it's got to it's got to get all the de details right. I agree with the, the tattoo. If they'd done that brighter blue, I think that would really, um, it would have been perfect pretty much. So I think, you know, there's little stuff like that. And I think um, I th I've got to count it off a half a point just because of, you know, because I feel like at some point this is what should have come out first. And I think it is a little bit of a money grab. So yeah. um, I don't like that aspect of it, but, but at least, at least they got it right um, in the end. And, yeah, so I think overall it's an awesome release. Oh yeah, definitely. And that wraps up our review of the G.I. Joe Classified series Retro Card Back, Gung Ho, and Destro. So let us know what you think about these figures in the comments below. I'm Michael. And I'm Larry. And thanks for dropping into the Toy Habits Examination Room.